Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And today I have a Thread Up unboxing. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, but I was finally able to get my hands on a DIY designer box. I actually um, got three of them. So I've been trying for like two years to get one and finally was able to. So um, I haven't opened it yet and we will unbox this together. Um, so I believe it is seven pieces. They're all supposed to be designer. Um, they have a high price point. I don't remember exactly what it is, but um, I've been wanting to try these for so long. So I was willing to risk it and hopefully I find a piece in one of these three boxes that uh, I can keep for myself. So I just have one so far that got delivered. It literally came five minutes ago and I was so excited that I needed to stop everything and do this. So here is what she looks like. I see some Gucci, so that is exciting. Um, we will start with the pair of shoes on top. And these are Miu Miu. Um, they definitely have some wear on the bottom, but, um, and the toes are scuffed. Um, but besides being a little dirty, they're in decent shape. Um, I've never sold Miu Miu before. They're a size 39, which I think is like eight and a half ish or something like that. Hopefully I can clean up this rubber part a little bit. Um, they have a little heel wear too, only on this one, but all right. I'm not, um, sad about these. I'm glad to see some shoes in here and there's actually more than one pair of shoes. Um, this looks like it could be kind of lame, but we'll say, okay. So this is Acne Studios. I have come across this a couple times before and it is just a tank top. Um, it has some cracking on the graphic, um, but I don't see any stains on it, which is good. Um, so at least there's that. It doesn't have a side. Um, all right, so there's a little bit of a scuff kind of on there. I might be able to get that off, honestly. Uh, size small. All right, I was, as far as clothes go, this isn't a very significant piece, but um, hopefully the rest of the stuff makes up for that. I think it's sellable still. It won't be very much, but um, at least it's sellable. So we have this pair of booties and they are C by Chloe. So that's not like her highest line, but at least um, they seem to be in really nice shape. I don't even see, there's a little scuffing on the toes, but um, besides that, and like this is a little tarnished, but that doesn't even bother me. Um, these are in great shape. I can just use some leather conditioner on those. So I'm very happy about those. We actually have a lot of shoes in here. So that's exciting. We have these little red booties. Um, the brand is Lanvin. I don't know this one. Um, I feel like I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it or if that's even pronouncing it right but these are really cute um they've obviously been worn some but they're leather bottom so that's pretty typical for wear the toes have just minor wear on them and then this one he gold heel has some scuffing but overall not too bad they have eh there's like some dents on the side there. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but um, definitely still sellable. I don't know the, um, like how much those are worth. Eh, that's kind of, as I look at them more, that's kind of a big mark on there. I'm not sure 
if I can clean that up or not, but we'll still give those a shot. I'd rather shoes than clothes, so. And then the last pair of shoes is these, and they are sandals from Manolo Blahnik. They're brown suede. They seem to be in decent shape too, size 38. The bottoms aren't too bad. The toes and heels look good. So these are a win. I've never sold, I don't think I've sold Manolo's ever, but definitely not a sandal like that. So hopefully there's some decent value in those. And then we have sunglasses. It looks like a Fendi case. The case has some wear on it, but I'm glad they came in a case. Yep, they are Fendi. Oh, these are really cute. Okay. So then they have this big Fendi on the side. Um, made in Italy, Fendi. Everything seems to be okay about those. They are really small, but these are not my style, but I think they are decently trendy. I don't see any major scratches on the lenses, so super pumped about those. I wish the case was in a little better shape, but who cares when the glasses are good, right? So that's exciting. And then last is a Gucci bag. So we have this little, I'd say it's like a shoulder bag in the black Gucci print. Um, the corners seem to be decent. It's a little like sticky almost. There's a mark on the bottom, but I think that will come off. We have the Gucci tag inside. It's hard to see this because it's all black, but um, the zipper works okay. There's um, a little wear on the leather around the zipper, but not anything too bad. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I don't think, I don't think I'll keep anything from this one. This Gucci purse will definitely, there's some marks in the bottom. That's what I was checking, but I'll try and clean that up. Um, hopefully this, you know, is all authentic because it doesn't have, sometimes they have like a, they'll put like a thing that they authenticated it. So I'll do some research on this, but hopefully everything is good with this because this will absolutely more than pay for the whole box. But um, overall, I am happy with this box. This alone excites me, obviously, um, but to only have gotten one piece of clothing, even though the piece of clothes is definitely not great. Um, just this, so one was the Gucci bag, two is this Acme tank, three, these are probably the ones I'm concerned about the most due to wear, but these Landvin boots, hopefully I can clean them up a little bit. Um, these Manolo sandals are in really good shape. That's four. The Fendi sunglasses, five. The Chloe, C by Chloe boots, which are a size 40, which is also a great size. So at least the shoes that I got weren't all like size sixes. Um, got those. And then the Mew Mews. So, um, for my first box, I'm definitely happy with this. Hopefully um, the rest are decent too. And this came from Phoenix, because I know some people like to know that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And I'm gonna have two more of these designer ones coming soon. So uh, definitely check back. Thanks.